basil, key for, first of all, we're making bow tie shrimp. Let's start right there. Um, which basically is just what it is. It's bow tie pasta and shrimp. But the other key ingredients are going to be tomatoes. You can use whatever tomatoes you want. I like Roman tomatoes because they're smaller. Um, butter, always key for good food. And basil, which we need to wash really quick. And, uh... So basically, what we're going to do first is we're going to get these tomatoes ready. Just chop them up really easy. And basically, another note is you want your vegetables, whenever you're cooking, to be equivalent to whatever the pasta or the meat is going to be. That way it makes it easier to stab it with a fork or with a spoon. You don't have little, little tiny pieces of tomato falling off your spoon. That's always good to do. Or to know. That is good to know. I never thought of that. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, I'm full of information. Useful information. Some not so useful, but I'm sure at some point we're going to come across some of those facts. But, all right, tomatoes. And you you know what? If you have people that are in your family that are allergic to shrimp, um, you can always switch this up. You can't be scared of your kitchen. It's your kitchen. It's your belly. If you want to eat something good, if you don't like mushrooms, just substitute them. It's not a big deal. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings and no one will ever know. All right, time for the basil. Pretty simple. They're usually pretty big leaves. You can either get these at the store in the produce department or you can pick them out of the backyard if you're one of those type of people. Um, and we're just gonna do a rough chop, get them in there. Very aromatic, smell super good. And we're gonna put those in with the tomatoes. Okay, nice and simple. Very pretty Christmas colors. And uh, we're going to get this butter in the pan. Because basically the tomatoes plus the butter is going to create the sauce. That's it. Pasta, sauce, cheese. Every fat girl's dream. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get this on. I have the water boiling over here for the pasta. Always, always, always put salt in the pasta. That's key. If I have any left over, I'll use it the next day, mix some eggs and uh, peppers, sausage, whatever you have for uh, like an omelet. Perfect, and it's filling and lasts you all day. Cool. All right, we're going to get this butter into the pan. I know you guys are going to think this is a lot of butter, and it is, but we're going to use it anyways. All right, so pasta's in. Pasta, 8 to 10 minutes. Butter's melting. We have our tomatoes and basil. We're gonna flip that around. Pretty simple. We can add a little bit of salt and pepper. But basically, that's it. We're not gonna add a whole much. This is no frills, no no thrills. Um, bow tie shrimp, very simple name because there's not very many ingredients. Matter of fact, most of my food or deep meals don't have names. I just kind of come up with them on the fly or people that are eating my food will try it and say, hey, this sounds like, you know, I don't know, joy juice. It needs to be joy juice, which is pineapple juice and champagne. It's the reverse of a mimosa. Awesome. You could try that too. All right, guys. There's our pasta or our shrimp. Let me get a spoon somewhere. Swirling this butter around to make sure it's coating and it's also melting a little bit faster when you do it this way. And I'm a little impatient, so this is how I do it. You can do it however it makes you feel good. Butter's melted, you want to be, good, be careful with the butter because you don't want it to burn because that will make your food taste gross. If your food tastes gross, people will talk about you. Maybe not to your face, but behind your back, well, sure. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of garlic. I have a garlic press. I know some people are like anti-garlic press, whatever. I love it because it just lets my hands have to smell like that. Okay. So I'm going to add the garlic first. Ooh, can you smell that? It smells great? Yes. Okay. Um, add the tomatoes and the basil. It is happy time. Okay. 
Again, this is very simple. We don't want to overcook the tomato. We want everything to still have a little bit of a bite to it. So maybe two minutes. Got the garlic in there. Got the butter. You can see it's making its own little happy juices in there. Wonderful. We have a pasta over here which we're going to add in a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to add the shrimp because the shrimp doesn't take long to cook. This is one of those dishes where it's good. You really can't mess it up. And people think like, oh my God, you went all this trouble to make this food. No, I didn't, boo-boo. Didn't happen. It's very, very simple. Add those few ingredients. I don't know, we've been cooking maybe 10, 15 minutes, including chopping up the tomatoes, which is the most stain-picking part. stain picking. <laughs> You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, that was it. Other than that, the garlic press. Get your garlic press. That's another toy. You know we love our gadgets. Males, females, whatever. We love our toys. That one, Pamper Chef, it was the best item that I've ever purchased, I think, ever. So, anyways, back to this. Just let it sit there. Okay? Medium high heat. We're just going to let those marry together. I turn it down a little bit just so it could take a little bit slower time to cook. And you can get all those flavors um, to dance a little bit more than if you were just to cook it super fast. This is as quick as you're going to get it. So, um, that's that's that. We're going to check this pasta. Pasta is 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how, you're, how fast you're cooking it. You can usually tell by the, the, the middle of it by pressing it. Me, I use the end of this, and I can tell it's coarse. I can feel it bumping up against it. If it's bumping, it's too hard. And I can make another joke about that, bumping in the hard center, but I'm not even going to go there. Okay? We are almost done. Delicious. You see that color? It's like a pinkish, orangish color at the bottom, all that mm -hmm. juicy broth. That's it. That's what we're looking for. Tomatoes are still together. They're firm. Slightly firm. Firm enough to stick with the pork and not be so soupy. Okay, that's what we're going. Shrimp is happy. And you know what? While this is doing that, I'm going to grab a little bit more basil, chop that up so we can put that on the end at the top, or on the top at the end. So it can, again, have that flavor since your person that's going to be eating, your guest is going to eat it, they'll have that fresh basil taste in their mouth. And it's, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Never rinse your pasta. That's just cardinal sin if you were to do that, okay? But this, we're just going to dump that pasta right over. Give it a little flippy doodle here. Okay. And then, everything's done. That's it. Everything's done. I'm going to turn this down below. I'm going to get some mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle that over. I'm a cheater. I always get the pre-shredded cheese just because I don't have time. Again, I have a family. I work 40 hours a week. And I'm entertaining you guys. So I pick my battles. Either you guys want to eat quick or I just spend all day shredding cheese. Okay? We're going to add the basil to the top. Lost a piece. And then you're going to turn this off, put the top on, we're done. Almost. we got to wait for the cheese to melt. But I'm going to grab some plates, and then uh, that's it. We're good to go. I don't know how to do all that, but if I did, I would. <laughs> Alright, come on, Derek. Try it. Let me know what you think, honestly. My feelings will not be hurt. You may not be invited over to eat again, but my feelings won't be hurt. Just kidding. Mmm. That's good stuff. This is fantastic. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. And thank you. Thank everybody. This is bow tie shrimp. Sorry, I got a whole mouthful. <laughs> but it really is good. When it makes you talk with your mouthful, then you know it's some good stuff. Um, bow tie shrimp, very simple. I'm Shelly Marie, the double D, domestic diva that is. This is Derek. Thanks for joining us. Peace.